debacle on this rainy summer's morning. <laughs> it actually feels quite nice to be in here and it not to be too hot already. Um, for your workout this morning, you literally just need a resistance band. It doesn't matter what type. You might actually, if you have one of those latex lighter bands, you might actually find that a little bit easier. Um, these can be a bit cumbersome for a couple of the exercises that we're doing, but they do still work. So any type of band that's got a bit of give in it, this one doesn't particularly, but I'll demo the move as if it does. Um, and that is all you need. And we're going to spend half an hour down on our mats. It's predominantly um, ab, but there is also... Um, some um, glutes right at the end. So just coming with your band down to the mat and starting just kneeling down on the floor and I want you to just start dropping one shoulder to down to the same ear, Ugh, shoulder, ear to the shoulder and then just circle round. I'm not good at talking at this time of the morning so just circling forward and back. I'm always really pleased when it rains in the summer because I always forget to water my veg when I plant it. So this is doing the job that I have not done. My beans are going crazy down there. Two more. And last one, good. From there, just circle those wrists, so just getting them warm because we're going to do quite a bit of work in bear hold later on. Just circling a few in each direction. And then sweeping the arms into circles, up around the ears. <clears throat> and then change the direction of those circles, squeezing the shoulder blades back together. Good. And then from there, we're going to come over and onto all fours. So checking that the hands are down underneath the shoulders, spread those fingers wide, knees under the hips, hip distance apart. Drop your tummy, look up towards the sky, and then arch your back, tuck your chin, oh, press away from the earth, start stretching out, getting rid of any of the overnight stiffness, then dropping your tummy, look up, and then arch and curl away, and one more time, dropping the tummy, look up. And then arch and press away. It's quite cold actually, I've got the window open. And then bring it to a neutral spine. I want you to draw your belly up towards your back so you've got a nice flat back. Ground down your weight through your left hand. Lift your right hand up in the air, take it out in front of you, spread your fingers wide. And then bring that hand down and behind you. So you're just kind of doing this pendulum movement forward and back. You might have to bend your elbow slightly through the centre if your arm's too long. Okay, then bring that hand back down, replace it, same thing, other side. Take that arm up ahead, spreading those fingers wide, then lift it behind, then bring it forward and behind. Just gently engaging that core to keep you balanced and still in the centre. Okay, last time, from the top, bring it down. Then from there, you're just going to do the same thing. We're going to lift the legs. So we're not going to sweep the legs forward and back. You're going to draw your knee in towards your chest and then take your leg long. So I want you to just check it. Oh, I've just kicked my flower pot. I want you to check that you're not letting that back arch too much. So keep drawing that belly up towards your spine. Pointing your toe as you bring your foot back behind you. Let's do one more. And out. Good. Then bring that foot down. And then same thing, draw the other knee in, take it out long. Draw it in, working to keep the abs switched on, not overarching that back. And one more, and back, good. Just sit back on your heels for a second. Circle your wrists a couple of times each way. Okay, and then coming back onto that, into that position, and then we're just going to put those two moves together. We're not going to sweep the arm, we're going to bring it from the front. So you're going to lift your arm, right arm up in front, take your left leg out long. And then all you're going to do is bring the two together under the tummy and then take it long again. So elbow to knee and take it long. Thinking about this movement, thinking about keeping that back as flat as you can. Let's do one more. And back. Then bring that hand down. 
And the same thing on the other side, get neutral, get switched on, press away from the mat, then left hand up, right leg out behind you. And then meeting under, and then taking it long. So try and stay as still as you can, apart from the moving arm and leg. That's how you really challenge this balance, challenge the core. One more, draw it in, and take it back. Good, from there, just keeping yourself, bring it down, come hip distance apart still. Push your bottom back towards your heels, so you just briefly sit here in a modified child's pose. Then leading, let your forearms come to the mat, leading with your nose. Come through and lift up into a cobra, stretching out that back. And then push yourself up and back, and we'll do that once more towards the heels, stretching out those arms. Then leading with your nose, forearms on the mat, lead through, lift up into cobra. And then push back onto all fours, and then bringing your knees forward, you're going to come over and onto your bum, and you're going to take hold of the mat, mat band, oh dear. and you're just going to pop the band around your feet, so it's literally just sitting around your feet to start. And then what we're going to do, so you might have one of those smaller mini bands, latex bands, in which case you use one, use it just for this particular exercise. And then to start, I just literally want you to roll back for the count of eight. So we're going to come back really slowly. So you're just going to go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, lying your backs down on the mat, pressing your palms down for a little bit of extra support, either side of the bum, and you're going to lift your legs up into a tabletop position. So I want you to just check that your lower back is imprinting on the mat. And then you're going to flex your feet so the toes are lifting up towards the sky. And then we're going to do a two count out and in with one leg and then the other. So you're just going to go out, out, straighten the leg, then draw it back in. Other side, out, draw it back in. Main focus being pressing that lower back into the mat every, every second throughout this move. In, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. One more at this pace, out. So the other leg is staying nice and strong, not moving, and out, out. We're gonna take that into a single move. So we're gonna go out, in, other side, in. So keep pressing down through your hands for a bit of extra support, out, in, out. And really making sure that that lower back's not arching, in, out, in. Keep going. In, so you might feel this in the legs as well as in the out. Out, in. We've got four. In, three, two, and one. Now take your hands, interlace them either behind the nape of the neck or the head, light touch, just lifting your head up. And we're going to add in a bicycle, so opposite elbow to the knee that's in. And then back in, bicycle out the other way, in, bicycle, so keeping these shoulders lifted, in, out, and in. Pressing that band, and the hand up, up, the hand up, for four, three, two, and one. Good, just hug the knees for a second. As you hug the knees, just use your hands to just bring the band down so that it's placing over your mid calves. So about halfway down. And then you're gonna take your legs and you're gonna point them up towards the sky and you're pressing out against that band so you've got this bit of resistance. And then we're just gonna repeat those moves. So if you need to, you're gonna take your hands and do your back, lower back, or maybe be resting on a ball. And then you're just gonna take your one leg, two count, down, really hold up the other one nice and strong, then lift back up. So depending on your resistance, you might be able to get your band somewhat, your foot somewhat lower than I am, just because this one's not a particularly strong band. I haven't got one of those mini bands here. They're all at my studio. I need to bring one home. Lift, down, down, lift, lift. So again, focusing on this lower abs. So you should really be feeling that right way through this lower band of abs. Lift, lift, down, down. Lift, lift, one more each side, and I want you to really focus on keeping the other leg still. Down, lift, and then we're gonna go into singles. Down, lift, down, lift, down, and down. 
Okay, go. Down. 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 Oh, my abs are on fire already. Okay, go. Four. Three. Two. And one. Taking the legs back to the top, lift the head. Now, every time you lower your leg, you're going to crunch up and then come back down with your head. So lower and lift. Lower, lift, lower, lift. For eight, seven, six. I don't know why the addition of the band makes this so hard. Four, three, two, and one. Hold up, bring your hands either side of your legs and then turn your legs into a slight passe position so they're turning in towards each other. And then just gently windmill them round each other just lightly scissoring, slowly, and then singles as you pulse your arm. Pulse two, four, five, six, seven, eight, and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Lie yourself down as you're lying and hugging your knees in. Slide that band up so it's over the knees, and then just give those give those abs a little rest. Whew. Okay. Next move, just take your feet down to the floor as if you're in a bridge position just while we get started with the hands. Take your hands up over your chest and then I want you to bend your elbow at 90 degrees and hold on to the opposite elbow on both sides. So you're forming this kind of barrier up above the chest and then you're pressing down with your shoulder blades into the mat and I want you to stay locked here with the arms. We're going to lift the legs and then you're going to slowly come in, in, out, out. So roll up and tap the arms. Down, down. In, in, down, down. In, in, down, down. Keep going. Leave the arms still. Down, down. In, in, down, down. In, in, down, down. Last time. In, and then speeding it up into singles. 12, down, 11, little reverse curl bum coming up and just tapping against those arms. Eight, should be feeling this all across those lower abs. Six, five, four, three, two. I want you to hold this one in. Do either little pulses or just holding here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. When you release out, that should be a really lovely, lovely release. Have a sip of water if you need it. That was just as horrible as I thought it was going to be. Okay, we're going to come over and we're going to come into side plank. So we're going to work into these shoulders. Last bit of our upper body focus. Oh, we've got one more workout, I think, after this. So making sure that the elbow is down underneath the shoulder. If you let it come out in front, which a lot of people do because they think it feels comfy, you're actually going to um, risk hurting that shoulder much more. So check it down. And then we're going to bend off our bottom knee. Now, if you want to, you can stack your legs. This is going to be you know, a few different moves that we're doing. So you might be more comfortable just having your bottom knee bent back to 45 degrees. And then all we're going to do is just lift these hips, working the bottom, this all across this oblique, and then down. So lift, lower. I always find this, this is a really good tip. When you're doing, a lot of people when they do side planks, really feel it in their necks and they struggle with it. Everyone does struggle with a side plank. Turn your head and look down towards your hand. And I find that just takes a lot of the tension out of the neck if you are struggling. <sighs> Hold the next one up, and then I just want you to do little pulses. Up, 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 six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, then you're just gonna lift the leg and lower. So you're staying high. Option to lower down if you need to. <sighs> lift, lift, for six, Five, four, three, two, hold it up, pulse, up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower that leg, lower that hip. 
Good, bring yourself over, come to the other side. So we're gonna even that out. Elbow down, underneath this shoulder, bending off this bottom knee, remembering that you can stack them if you want. Okay, and then starting with these hip lifts. So lifting up and back down. Put your hands on this bottom part. Feel how hard all these muscles here are working. That's the beauty of the side plank. That's why we do them. Target this area here. Down, lift, down, lift, down, lift. Hold the next one up, pushing nice and high with those hips, and then just pulse your little hips up a little bit more. Up, 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 up. Four, three, two, one. Hold here high, then lift that leg, tap, lift, tap. Remember, you can drop that bottom leg if you need to. But you won't then be hitting the oblique, you'll just be working the glute. Lift and lift. Four, no six, sorry. Five, four, three, two. Now hold it up. Pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Lower down. Right. Bring yourself over onto your front, slide out from your band and then I just want you to come into just a little child's pose for a second, so toes together, knees apart, sit your bottom back towards your heels, reach your hands out, just take two breaths here. And then you're going to lift yourself back up and you're going to come onto all fours like we did in the warm up. And we're going to avoid this arch of the back by pressing away, thinking about neutralising our spine. Spreading our fingertips wide. And you're going to tuck your toes and we're going to lift up and we're going to hover with a nice flat back, balancing our champagne flutes on our tray, on our back. And we're just going to hold our knees here. In a bear hold for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Drop the knees for a second, come off the hands. I always like to rotate these wrists in between. So we're going to come back into that move and we're going to add in a knee drop and lift, we're going to drop our knees down to the mat. If you need to, you can do this alternate knees. So you're going to get your nice start position, nice neutral spine, pressing away from that mat, tucking the toes, lifting into your bear hold, and then either taking one knee down and the other knee down, nice and slow, or taking both knees down, tap and lift. But I want you to keep this very subtle and small. So just lowering those knees, then lifting up an inch, lift. Down, left, for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Lower down, circle those wrists. Okay, next one we're going to do, going from the bear hold. So coming back, pressing away from the mat, tucking these toes. <clears throat> Lift up into your bed, take your feet maybe a tiny bit behind you, and then you're just going to walk out into a plank, and then walk the feet back into bed. Then change the lead leg out, out, foot back in to bed. So lead out with the right, out with the right, in with the right, in with the right, out with the left, out with the left, in with the left, in with the left, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, one more, each side, in, in, out, out, in, in, and lower, circle the arms, we have one more bear hold variation, we're doing all bear hold variations, so this next one, we're going to go from there into down dog, into plank and back to bear. So it's going to look like this, hands down under the shoulders, hip distance apart with the knees, tucking the toes, 
Lifting into bear. Taking your hips high into down dog. From down dog, taking yourself over onto your hands into plank and then releasing back to bear. Up into down dog, so join me when you're ready. Over into plank, releasing back to bear. Up to down dog, over into plank, tucking back to bear. Up to down dog, over into plank, releasing to bear. Down dog, over to plank, release into bear. Let's do one more, really working these shoulders. Down dog and the abs, over into plank, releasing back to bear. And lower those knees, sit your bottom back towards your heels, lower your head. Okay, and from there, you're going to come over onto your back. <coughs> oh. And we're going to come into a bridge position. So you're going to draw your heels up towards your bum, making sure the knees are staying hip distance apart. So don't let them try and roll in towards each other. And then walk those shoulders down away from your ears and press your, four, your palms down into the mat so they work as a little bit of extra support. And then tilting your pelvis, and then we're just going to start by doing a bridge, and then tap the floor. Bridge, very gentle tap, and lift, tap, and lift. So when you're at the top of this bridge, you should already be feeling your abs quite strongly because we've had a very heavy ab focus. But I want you to really switch on at the top, squeezing your glutes right up through the centre of the core, and engage these lower abdominals that have already been working. Five, tap, four, tap, three, two. Right, now what we're gonna do is hold up here and you're going to press your weight down into your left heel and march your right knee in towards your face, then lower your right leg and march your left knee in. So keeping the bum lifted throughout. So we're gonna go 20, 19, 18, try not to lower down too much, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, squeezing those glutes, 3, 2, and 1. Now we're going to add on a bridge. So you're going to tap down, lift up, march in with right, bring your foot down, tap down, lift up, march in with left, bridge, up, march with right, foot down, drop the bridge, lift, march with left, foot down, lower, lift, right, down, lower, lift, those glutes should be sque squealing, down, lift, in, and lower, lift, in, tap, and lower. One more each side, in, tap, and down. Last time, in, tap, and down. Lift back up, just lift that right knee in towards you and just pulse it in. Don't let that bum come down. Pulse, 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 pulse. Really working that single glute. Keep going. Seven, six, five, four, three, two and one, lower that right foot, lower down out of bridge, squeeze straight back up, lift that left leg, pulse the knee in, 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 Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lower the foot, stay high, squeeze up, really squeeze up, four, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and roll down. Oh my gosh, that was very fiery on the bum. I'm afraid we're going to repeat that last one because the rest of the focus has been entirely on the abs. So we're doing a double whammy of the glutes. So if you want, for round two, and I suppose I've got to show willing even though it's early in the morning and raining. Round two, you add the band now that you know what you're doing with that bridge move. So the band comes up above the knees about two inches and then you're stepping out 
making sure you're pressing out against that band. Shoulders down away from the ears, pressing into the floor and just starting lifting up into this bridge, tucking your chin slightly and then tap and lift. So this second round, those glutes are probably going to be quite screaming. We like screaming glutes though. Just remember, if you feel it in your knees ever in bridge, just try walking your feet a little further away from your sit bones and you should find that takes the pressure out. Five, four, don't let those knees drop in. You have to work against the band here. Two and one. Adding on, holding up at the top and then just march the knee. March, alternate marches in towards the face. Try not to come down out of your bridge. March, march, march. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now adding on, slide that band back down if it's crawled up like mine has. Lift up into bridge, right knee in, foot down, lower out of bridge, lift up. Left knee, foot down, tap your bum down. Lift, right, down, tap, lift, left, down, lower, lift, right, tap, lower, lift, left, down, lower, lift, right, down, lower, lift, left, down, lower, lift up, draw that right knee in and pulse it, pulse, 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 really isolating this left glute, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1, lower that foot, lower your bridge, lift back up, squeeze, isolate this right glute, left leg in, 20, 19, pulsing that knee in, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, both feet down, squeezing up nice and high, let's do 10 little pulses up towards the sky, pulse, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10 and hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and roll down. Whoa, hopefully that's woken those glutes up. Nice work of the abs, nice way to start your Monday morning. Hug your knees in towards your chest, remove the band, take a little rock side to side if that feels nice. Okay, then lower your left foot to the ground, flex your right foot, take it over that left knee. Drop that knee, push that knee right down towards the ground and then lifting that leg, maybe trying to reach around to the front of the shins this morning to really ease out that right glute. Otherwise just holding around the back of the hamstring. And then lowering the legs. Right foot comes to the mat, left foot goes up over that knee, keeping it flexed, pushing away that top knee. Lifting the leg. No, I can't reach the shin on this one. Around the hamstring or the shin. Okay, then lowering the feet, taking the legs long, taking your arms overhead, press away your hands, and then I want you to walk your feet over to the right hand side of your mat, and then walk your hands over to the right hand side of the mat, stretching out the obliques down one side, we've worked the obliques. So keeping both shoulder blades, both sit bones in contact with the mat, feeling this nice stretch down the side in this banana shape. And then coming back to the centre, walk the feet over to the left hand side, walk the hands over to the left hand side. And then bringing yourself back to the centre, taking your hands behind your knees, Doing a few rocks up and down if that feels good. Coming to a seated position. Legs out in front. Inhaling, reaching for the sky. Exhaling, lowering your chest towards your thighs. Letting your hands lie wherever they lie. And then slide those hands up. Cross your legs. Bring your hands in front. One more little bear hold. <laughs> Tucking the toes, lifting your bottom up towards the sky, little down dog, then walking your hands up towards your, no, your feet up towards your hands, slowly rolling up. And when you get to the top, interlacing your fingers, turning your hands away, really curve your spine so you ease these shoulders. Dropping that head down. 
and then bring them behind your back, interlace your hands, drop them down and away, lift your hands away from your body, easing out, good work of the shoulders, oh I can see the cat sitting in the vegetable patch, <sighs> what are you doing in there? And then release, and you are done, have a look.